this week on What the Heck, we're joined by a very special guest. Check in with Tyler, talk Fourth of July traditions, and then dive back into the world of what the heck would you rather do? Crack a cold one, kick your feet up, and enjoy the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode nine of What the Heck. I'm Colin Frederick, joined as always by Tyler Heck, and uh, not joined by old part-time Jacob Reese. Uh, you know, he's got bigger fish guy. to fry. It's he's tough. Going on. It's not easy being a local celebrity, apparently. I'm not really sure Especially what that's on like. on holiday week. You know, I get it. But the show must go on. And so we're here with perhaps the most special guest of all special guests. The first female ever welcomed onto What the Heck, breaking the glass ceiling, or at least just walking into a door that she owns half of, Ms. Caitlin Cook. Quite the introduction there. What's it like having red hair? <laughs> just the same as blonde or brown. <laughs> do you know that from experience? Yeah. I do. I've had almost every color. I know you don't like this red. Hey, it's wait, fine. It's better. It's getting better. It's taming it's down. It's fading. She, Moving uh, on. Yeah, don't <laughs> even get me started. We'll be here for at least two hours. We've been trying to at get least. Katie to come on the show, and she keeps providing us with ideas. She's always here when it's happening. And uh, if any of you know her, she's quite a bubbly, outgoing human, but apparently doesn't think that she can handle the podcast game. But we finally tricked her into it. And she's here. She's excited. Very excited. She's making faces that would tell otherwise, but you can't <laughs> see them, so we're going to go with she's excited. Woo woo. Uh, so we're here. It's a holiday week. By the time this comes out, it will be the 4th of July. Uh, one of my favorite holidays. I, I I would put it up there for me, too. And it's always, I feel like people forget about it. it people can't. don't treat it as a holiday. Like th you know, I think the first ones that come to mind are Thanksgiving, Christmas. Easter, like that kind of sure holiday, and people kind of forget about the fourth. Maybe because it's for because a lot of they don't just another, maybe like, like they summer don't, night. They like don't love America. Well, maybe think? that too. I hope that's not it. If that's the case, I don't want to associate with you. Our listener out in Norway, you are okay to think that, I guess. But <laughs> true, I still I have to know who that is. Identify <laughs> yourself. Email please. us, please. We need to know. Maybe someone's like studying abroad, or I don't know that you know. I, or business. We need to branch out more in that We do. Area. I think that's really we need to start t targeting our Norway market a little bit heavier. Yep. Uh, but we're going to talk about the 4th of July and how it's a real underrated holiday full of great traditions and activities. And uh, Tyler's got a doozy, he says, for what the heck. Doozy. But we'll great word. <laughs> it's <laughs> another underrated yeah. word. Uh, so that'll be good. And then we're going to... Uh, Take another spin around the what the heck would you rather do wheel. Because uh, last time it led to some interesting conversations, and I think that I've selected some good scenarios uh, for you guys to choose from. But without further ado, Tyler, what the heck? All right, so this actually, this is something I thought about doing a while back um, because it's something that I, it has to do with something I really enjoy and I think maybe you too enjoy, but I don't really know. So that's also why I'm doing it. Um, but I'm also doing it because this past weekend it was just brought up in conversation at the campground. So I thought, what a perfect time. Let's just keep the conversation going. So here it is, okay? I want to hear... And I'll give some, you know, extra explanation after. But I want to know, or you have to give me three people that just always make you laugh. And it can be hmm. now I'll, oh I'll, a lot of my like go tos are they're going to be a lot of like stand up comedians, but it can be anybody. They don't have to be famous, famous or not. Just anyone who 
It doesn't matter what they do or what they say. They just always know how to make you laugh. Okay. okay. And if you can't narrow it down to three, because I struggle <clears throat> keeping it to three, I probably have like eight or nine that I'm just like, they're always in the conversation. But you got to keep it to three. You can throw some honorable mentions in there. Huh. But we're going to keep it to three. And if you want me to go first, I'll go first. Or yeah, anyone no. who wants to step up. Ladies first. Oh, boy. Kick it yeah. off. Well, two come to mind, but I need to think of a third. You know well, you can third. give us the first two, and then we'll come back. Okay. So the first two. You don't need to get a big head or anything. <laughs> Uh-oh. But for sure, Colin Frederick. Yeah. Even when I'm mad. You can make me laugh, Especially and it makes me more mad, yeah, but I still that's, laugh, and that's part of it's the annoying. Game, I think. Ugh, it frustrates me. Number two, famous. That's it. That's all of the nice things you have to yep, say. Yep. We've got time. <clears throat> <laughs> We're moving on. Number two. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Number two is Kevin Hart, but the duo of Kevin Hart and The Rock. Yeah, yes. that's good. Their videos of them making fun of each other or mocking each other mm -hmm. are by far my favorite. That actually came up on my time hop today. I shared eight years ago a video of them mocking each other. They are so funny together. Yeah. But Kevin Hart can make me laugh. I think it's even much funnier anytime. because Stand -up. Like, of the difference in stature. And I th because they're really good at like switching roles. Yeah, it's so good. Where Kevin Hart like acts like he's the big tough guy. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. Yeah. Dang, that's a, that's but good. I can't. I need to think about a third one more. Hmm. All right, you keep thinking. We'll yeah. go, and we'll come back. Circle back around. Colin, you ready? You want me to go? Yeah, I'd like to give it a go. Okay. First, I'll go Will Ferrell. I know that he is a little polarizing in that uh, either you love Will Ferrell movies or you hate him. That's so true. There's no in between with there him. There really seems to Zero. not be. Like, you're either a fan or We should put a poll out on Will Ferrell. We can do that. So uh, stay tuned for that poll. Uh, but we were actually just talking about his newest movie, Eurovision, on Netflix. It's totally ridiculous, but definitely worth your time. I am, I have this thing where if it's past 8 o'clock p.m. and I sit down on a couch, I'm going to fall asleep, regardless of fact. if you're talking to me, if I'm if watching a show, if I'm playing <laughs> video games. I've been known to get like... 18 delay of games in a row until all of a sudden I wake up and I'm on my own goal line and I don't know how and it's first and 57 that wouldn't be true 55 perhaps um, so I'm a sleepy guy however because I'm such like an expert movie critic I rate movies on how many times I doze off during them because even movies that I enjoy I've mm -hmm. been known to sleep through this mm -hmm. one I didn't even close my eyes one time which is remarkable. That's like a glowing five star. And it was a musical. Yeah, it was, but not like a <laughs> not like a just saying. not like a floofy kind of musical, like a funny musical. It reminded me of Pitch Perfect, but Swedish, right? It was Sweden. It's something like no Iceland. Oh, Iceland! Right, right, right. But if you guys want to talk Icelandic. about musicals, I encourage you to go back to check out uh, the Bigfoot High School Drama Club's 2006 production of High School Musical featuring Tyler Frederick as Troy Bolton. Um, it's worth your time. And if you have not seen it, please feel free to reach out to him or his wife, and I'm sure that they'd be happy to share a copy of the DVD with you. I would like to see that. It's good. It's really good. Powerful stuff. Uh, Will Ferrell, number one. Number two, You it's, don't have to say me because I'm sitting here. It's tricky. It feels, and I said you. It feels like I do. It feels like yeah. you're trapped here. I'll that, give you a fourth. I one. knew this was a bad idea. Yeah, can I have four spots, please? I think that I would put in my last two spots two folks, one of which has joined us on the show. Will Utesh. Mm is mm -hmm. one of those guys where uh, it's the kind of funny where I just want to punch him, <laughs> you know? I think you said that the last time it's when true. he was on the show. Yes. <laughs> he yeah. is ridiculous, uh, but I love it. And also Garrett Jeters. He and I 
have been friends since we were infants. There's a picture of us in a kiddie pool, uh, naked with our little tiny Peters camping when oh, we were boy. like one back in the day. Um, maybe I'll share that on Facebook too. Jeters would love that. Yeah, let's, let's get that shared around Facebook. The people need it. I'd probably get taken down. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have one version of that photo. I saved, the, actually, the only version I've saved on my phone is uh, I put some eggplant emojis on there in Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> and you can change the size of the emojis, so I made mine ginormous. <laughs> These are the kind of things that Mature. You, Real mature. Yeah, that uh, I'm a grown-up. So. That's why you named him in your top three funniest <laughs> That's people. That's right. I do funny Currently shit. Currently only top two. <laughs> Yeah, you can't take it back. Sorry. Yeah, no. And I was number one. Let the record show. Right. You beat out Kevin Hart. You beat out the duo oh, of man. Kevin Hart. And That's Dwayne right. I'm that regretting this immediately for all powerful. of you listening. Immediately. I think we just end the show right now. Yeah. No. It's been a good run. Congrats to you guys for. I failed. I'm sorry, funny. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but Jeters and I, growing up, used to have a thing where we couldn't like drink around each other. Like I specifically remember sitting at lunch with him, like at his house, growing up. And we, like, had to wait until somebody left to take a drink of our Kool-Aid or whatever because, like, it was going to come out your nose every single time. Um, and it was always dumb stuff, but just so good. And then the fourth, but most important, is Katie Cook. Um, I made number four, and you were number one. I'm just saying. Well, mine's in reverse order. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Good save. Mm -hmm. Um. I especially like the way that uh, sometimes I have to scrunch my eyes and make a what kind of face when she says stuff. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs on the inside. I do. I laugh on the inside. That's really the thing is most of the time I can't laugh because I can't give you the satisfaction of knowing that I'm laughing at <laughs> That's you. That's right. Not at me <laughs> because of what I said. Um, yeah. So th she's a pretty funny character thank you she's like the less funny half of the relationship debatable however if i'm the number one funniest human say, in the world it sounds it like it's hard sounds like everybody be. falls behind that so that's opinion congrats matter of opinion it's your opinion my Why opinion are you, you could <laughs> put yourself because on i'm up there too you could have put can yourself I? on your list can i do that put him number because one, i'm so number one really i'm hilarious no, all the time she is one. no she is order. a legend in her own mind and that is a fact <laughs> <laughs> tyler what do you got all right so i didn't think i wanted to open up the personal people because i think there are a lot of people in our lives that we think are super funny like that wally guy yeah. I just met him awesome. tonight, but he seemed like a character. Yeah. <laughs> um, but in my, like, when I've thought about this or when I've talked about this with other people, like, I always just go to, like, famous people because it doesn't matter what mood I'm in. Like, I can throw these people on, and it's just, like, it's just going to make my day better. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first one I, I is he's always going to be my number one, is uh, Chris Farley. Oh, um, that's good. And... Honestly, and, and this is something we talked about this weekend was there's he's not he doesn't have a whole lot of like movies out there, but all are very underrated. This show is just all about underrated, I think. It is that's, very that's underrated to the, the new working yes. title. Um, very underrated, but all just hilarious in their own way. Mostly because he just kind of plays the same person. It really does. Yes. I mean. You have my, – my favorite two are probably Tommy Boy and Black Sheep, and he's essentially the same person. Um, I mean, he's Tommy Callahan in both. But then you've got Beverly Hills Ninja, where he's just Tommy Boy as a ninja, which is awesome. <laughs> and you got Chris Rock, so great. I love Chris um, Rock. And then the really underrated movie is, like, is uh, Almost Heroes. I have not seen that. Ooh, really good one. Almost um, Heroes. It's about <laughs> Lewis and Clark and their guide. Oh, man. And, I can um, imagine. It's Chris Farley and Chandler Bing. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, <gasps> definitely very underrated. Uh, so that's in there. But I honestly, all the movies are great, but I think I really like him from his uh, SNL days. That's yes. where I really like. I have the best of Chris Farley, and the I think best. I can watch that. Like, if I had to pick something that I could really only watch all the time, that's probably up there. One of my favorites with him in on SNL was with Patrick Swayze. 
when they were yeah, the Chippendales. The Chippendales. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a. There's so I many good ones to choose so from. Much. So many good ones to choose from. So that'd be my number one. Uh, number two is a stand-up comedian, Bill Burr. Yeah, pretty good. Um, very vulgar, <laughs> and he will stick to his guns. Like he he doesn't care. He doesn't care what other people think. He's gonna come out, and it doesn't matter. Um, one thing I find funny is he always talks about. Like in every special, he's got like five specials on Netflix. Uh, in every one, he talks about how we need to somehow dwindle the population down. That checks and out. And I think he might have secretly found a way. I don't know, but he, he like he has plans. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But he has like he t- if you haven't watched him, he's hilarious. But he has like actual plans on what he would do. It's weird, but he does it like in a funny joking way interesting but he also like so he sounds just horrifying this. oh yeah but i think that's why i like him dark humor I, yeah very um, those are for sure my top two and number three that's where it really i really struggle because it just changes but i think i'm gonna have to agree with kevin hart yes because he's the best i have not I love him in in recent memory at least i've not seen anything bad with him in it like yeah. i've I follow him on Twitter. I follow him on Instagram. And even in that stuff, he's just hilarious. Mm -hmm. And he's just being himself. Mm -hmm. Um, But his stand-up is funny. His movies are funny. Mm -hmm. And he's just a funny dude. And I I have tall next to him. So that was also like a positive. (laughs) It has nothing to do with his humor. But I would feel tall next to him. Sorry, Kevin. But You know who else I think is kind of underrated nowadays? Probably he, he... used to be a bigger deal than he is currently is chris rock yeah yeah i just like his stuff he hasn't been in he's anything good. though no like he, he did a lot of movies like head of state and stuff. you remember that one where he's the president yeah that was good yep but then it he stopped has, i feel like he's got some movies on netflix like just netflix originals he does a lot like oh Adam like Sandler newer and like that yeah crew. like they just crew. they do a lot of like ne- straight to netflix oh, Adam original Sandler. Stuff. he's That's another one good who's one. always on my list too yeah. Music, his songs, medium pace. Anybody? Can you please sing that? <laughs> I cannot. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway. But yeah, he's definitely also on my he's list. Great. But I, I kind of forgot That's, about him. He's like, another one like Will Ferrell, where either you like Adam Sandler stuff or you hate it. Yeah. I disagree. I think you can be lukewarm. Most, yes, I think so. Because like, mm. there's movies where he's very different in them, and I feel like some people love. I don't know. Big Daddy, and some people hate Grown Ups. I don't know. Grown Ups is so great. Kevin James is that's another one on my list. <laughs> I love Kevin him. James, See? King of Queens. And that's I, I kept it the three because honestly, this could be the whole show. We could just this talk about people be. that make us laugh because Kevin we're going to bring up somebody and then, oh, wait, but there's also like, remember this movie with uh-huh. that person and that person? Mm-hmm. And that's then we so get true. on someone else. Which is what we just did. John C. Riley. Mm-hmm. See? Oh, man. He's my Will Ferrell companion. Didn't yep. you like, uh, you really like that comedian that doesn't wear a shirt? Oh Bert. oh, Bert. Don't yeah. you like, you told me to like watch all of his stuff and I have not, but I don't think I thought that you that's liked true. Him. That was Devin that was telling you that. Oh, like he's that could be. good, but I thought that was you. No, I'm a little bit forgettable in this household. There's only two of us, so it's easy to mix things up. Ha ha. <laughs> there's, there's some of that humor you were talking about. <laughs> Boy, hilarious. Always. <laughs> so the 4th of July is coming up. And I'd like to de- get into that a little bit. What? What do you do on the fourth? Like everybody's got a thing, right? Or do people actually like? Depends on the year. I'm a depend on the year. I don't trust mm-hmm. that kind of person. I'm sorry. I feel I like just, a lot of people are that way. I just well, you're all insane. Here's, here's my. Well, you have reasoning. a very strong tradition, so okay. that's why. Here, you here's that. my reasoning. I know so many different people who do their own things, and they're like, "Hey, yeah, you should come do this." So I've never like my family doesn't do a whole lot on the Fourth of July. Like we used to when we all lived back in Burlington, we'd you know light fireworks and grill out and everything. But now that everyone's more spread out a little bit, we stopped doing that. So we're kind of all on our own. And so in that time probably dating back to college like some years i'd stay up in lacrosse some years i'd come home some years i'd go up north you know it all depends on who i'm hanging out with at the time what they're doing 
you know, because some people some years do stuff with family, <clears throat> and so I think there's never not a year that I'm not like doing anything. Like I'm never just sitting at home, drinking by myself, lighting <laughs> fireworks off my porch. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> but I, I think like that'd that be kind of fun. Actually, um, that would not be good. But yeah, I just it's whatever. You know, like if someone's doing something, like, hey, you want to come up? Or, hey, we're throwing a party. You want to come over? I'm like, oh, whatever. Like, I'm around or I'm not around. But I'm always doing something. KT? The 4th of July for me is my favorite holiday. I love fireworks. But I always work the 4th of July. I do events, so there's always an event happening. And ever since college, when I was interning, I've always worked. Which is Until. interesting because uh, in the time that I've known you, uh, you've not worked on the 4th of July. Because I said until well, there's last been year, one there's so been far. one. And now two. And now two because well, of COVID. You don't know what she's doing yet. I do. That's true. It's still a couple of days away. Mm -mm. But last <laughs> year, I got to experience what you're about to say. And that was the Sharon parade and the Sharon fireworks after. But then you also, did you guys do your, I don't remember. Anyway. That was great, and it's a great tradition, but I can't get used to it because I will always be working, typically. I don't want us to gloss too far over uh, last year's 4th of July because it goes along with Katie thinking I'm pretty rad. She told me after, no, on our second date, she said, yeah, oh God. you know, I got, I got this thing where I'm one of my friends from work, we're going to go to... Geneva National and I used to work there and play in that event every fourth. So I they have very good fireworks. I'm sure it's canceled this year, but that's where no, I was gonna I go think last year. Still on. Yeah, it's still on. Is it? For members and uh overnight guests. How do you know this? Because I work there. Posted on Facebook. I, oh. I saw it I, earlier today. I, okay. do, I do events there. Well, they have a great show <laughs> because <laughs> they get Dre House to donate some, you know, so it's Literally, because literally fun. lit. Wow, lights up. Well, that's a play on words right there. But she had <laughs> plans, but then threw them all in the garbage to attend the Sharon Fourth of July because that's the greatest celebration of all time. This is true, and this was like a week after knowing you, and I met all of your family and extended family. And now we're getting married, so it worked out. <laughs> it did work out. Wow. That must have been a great 4th of July. <laughs> it was nerve-wracking, though. I think I also met you on the 4th of July. That might have been. Because me and Jake yes, had, uh, at the park. club on at the, the park. in the parade. Oh, my God. That, yes. So yeah, that was when Katie thought That's when I thought Jake, Jake was Mexican. Was Mexican. <laughs> Jake, you still look like it in my head. <laughs> that and is going to be one of my favorite stories but... <laughs> forever. We all oh, we man. talk about it frequently, and I'm like, he still looks Mexican to me. I'm so sorry. It's just a thing in my head. Looks For anyone who doesn't know Jake, he is not Mexican no. at nope. all. But not standard, even a little. Standard in my defense, guy. could be. <laughs> could not be. <laughs> no. He, I think it's because he world. looks like a friend of mine that's Mexican, and you disagree when I showed you a picture. Fact, because he. Looks I'll show you like a him. picture. <laughs> Those of you. You know that can't see this. We'll I'm post sorry, a picture with the of this friend, and we'll yeah we'll do like a pick side. stitch, and we can look at both of them. But anyway, the Sharon Fourth of July parade um, is how I always start my day. You got to wake up early and take your chairs up to your special secret parade spot, and I can't tell you where mine is because then you'll be taking that. Then spot. it's not a secret, right? But anyway, you have to take your chairs and claim your whole area, enough chairs for the whole fam family. Then you can go home and have some breakfast and hang out and maybe take a little nap. But then you head up to the parade where you watch six hours of tractors and fire trucks. Perhaps not six, but two. It's definitely lengthy. All right, I'm looking at this picture. Of Looks Katie's just friend. like him. They could maybe be distantly related. But no chance. Brothers! Mm. Jake have, has never seen this photo, I'd by the way. I'd have to see either him with Jake's facial hair or Jake with no facial what hair. What facial hair? And that would just be weird. That'd be very little different um, from what he's currently doing. No. Um, also, as someone who has ridden in the Sharon Pooper Yeah, now you're a, a high times, roller. I um, refuse to do I've, that. I've, I've been very lucky 
but also very unlucky because I never actually get to see the parade. Yeah, is that why lucky? were you in it? Is so it like for wrestling club? We have a float. Oh, I'm gonna say you've um, never been in it. No you chance. would love it. No, he I would not love it. He could have been with us. You are like no, the no, biggest no. Sharon lover ever. I feel like Fact. that's an honor. No, in honor and you of would you, love it. The problem is then you miss it. You don't get to watch. That's it. correct. The only honor will. Do you, Need to watch a million tractors yes. drive by. The only honor would be if I was sitting in the uh, village president car, but that is a That's campaign a for another road. day. First, I have to live in Sharon, which I currently do not. Yeah. Soon. But anyway, so the parade's great. Sometimes, if you're feeling real wild, you can take a little, a very, very short stroll down to the Sharon ice cream shop that we mentioned last week and have some of the best ice cream of your life. And who wouldn't do that? Like, if I could get off the float. In the middle of the parade and get some? I would. If I would have known that, I'd have probably tossed you some. Actually, who is anyone going to stop me? Like, if I get off the phone no, and go get ice cream, quick and then just run back. And the no parade's way. slow All enough. Right. I'm in. Fine. Next year. Get some additional ice happening. cream to throw out to kids, though, because they'd mm, like that. No, I'm just going to eat it in their faces. <laughs> we also <laughs> always uh, we take a lot of snacks, perhaps some cheese and crackers. Yeah, there was mm. snacks and drinks. Uh, and also some beverages, because it's never too early, because it's a holiday. Right. And it's the fourth. What are you going to do? Work? Exactly. No. So, so then you go to the parade. And Except then, for Katie. And then under normal circumstances, you walk up to Goodland Memorial Park where you can buy some food from the Lions Club, get some roasted corn, perhaps a hot dog or a brat. Mm -hmm. There's a beer tent. Sometimes there's live music. Sometimes it's a polka band. You can't really beat that. And then you move on from the park. You socialize a little bit. When I was growing up, for a few years, like in middle school, they actually had a carnival with rides and stuff in Sharon, Dang. which is big time. They had a dunk tank last year. Yeah, and I'm going to put you in it, so oh, watch out for that this year. You would never She'll hit be the working, thing. Though. I would Stop if you were it. in They it. call me old Deadeye. That's you throw not true with the, you, at all. You throw with the wrong hand. So. The Yikes. right That's hand. No. The left hand, but the right one. Sorry, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> That's the correct answer. You sound insane. So anyway, we go from the park <laughs> to the neighbor's pool where we drink all the drinks, hang out, and then we move it back down the road to my parents' house where you can uh, very clearly see the Village of Sharon's fireworks from the front yard without having to go downtown and be around all the people. Uh, but unfortunately, this year, all of that's canceled. So, uh, yep. My 4th of July is kind of ruined. No, it's not. It's not. It's not ruined because... It's just different. And here's why. We're just not going to the parade. We're still going to go to the pool. I'm going to drink less of the drinks. i really got to tame it down because then I will be putting on the fireworks show. So if you're listening to this Saturday morning, I'm just saying there might be some fireworks in the sky. Don't come over because I'm so In Sharon. Distance. You got to come towards Sharon, though. You're not going to yeah. see him. But you can park. Yeah. You, can you park. won't see him from Walworth or wherever everyone else is from. Savannah, Des Moines. Norway. Yeah. The Sorry. people from Des Moines. Norway don't, The people not. from Des Moines don't listen to this. Um, they should. They don't. They, they should. I agree with you. I don't everyone know where they're should. at with it, but they should. Or I think they did start. Yeah, it feels like a lack of commitment. Disappointed in them. Don't even know them. It's my sister. Bree, thanks. <laughs> Not but, off to a good start. No, it's not <laughs> great. But Mark is a big fan, and he <laughs> wears Canadian tuxedos while listening, and that... I'm is, excited to get those. I'd like... Yeah, the custom Canadian tuxedos, that's going to be good with a big What the Heck logo across the back. We can get our... I name. want you to get that for my father. We can get our names... No, we're all getting them. We're getting our... Oh. Yeah, we're getting we're our all, Dad needs it, too, though. We're getting our names, names stitched on them. Yeah. But, like, stitching. We're not you could put Mark Select... Mark Selector could be a sponsor for you guys. Dad, you're sponsoring because I do your paperwork. I was going to say. Right. <laughs> so I just need to talk to the lady that writes the checks. That'd be Sweet. great. So we're getting Canadian tuxedos. This and, is awesome. And boom. Sponsored by Mark's Electric. <laughs> I thought this was just like some pipe dream, but no, this it's is, really happening. We're it's big happening. Time. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Why be a minnow when you can be a fish? Someday we're going to have a really special <laughs> guest on and Katie's sister, and she can read us a piece of poetry that really moves me to tears every time I see it hanging on the fridge. She wrote it in second grade, and it's a beautiful poem. It really holds up. You know, some things... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. There's still a poem? Yes. And uh, she's 30 years old. <laughs> you can't tell her age on second the Second grade! It has to That's be. 
the greatest poem ever. Oh, it's gold. Colin has it memorized. Why is it, why is it not published? All right. Let's, I've tried. Bree's, right. not, Bree's not coming on the show. I'll just give it to you now. Why be a minnow when you can be a fish? Why be a fish when you can be a bass? Why be a bass when you can be a shark? But why be a shark when you can be you? That is a, <laughs> oh the gosh. brilliant mind of a second I, grader. I feel like a weight was just lifted off my shoulders yeah. listening to this. Yeah. So if you guys feel like you're going to run through a brick wall right now, you can thank the second grade Brianna Cook. No, Good. Brianna Dirksen. Oh, I understand that, but in second grade, she was not oh, Brianna Dirksen. She was All right, Cook. Um, that is what we're going to say to the JV players before every game. Yes, <laughs> that's what's going to get them to go out Pumped. and just. We can have like oh a chant. Why be a shark? <laughs> I think. You can be yes. you. <laughs> this is going to be big time. So, Bree, thanks for helping our JV season have a lot of success this year. Undefeated. Call it. Unless it gets canceled, <laughs> in which time we'll still be undefeated. Which, yep. And we can still have them recite the poem. Yeah. We're going to work that in. Yep. This is the 4th of July. <laughs> Got a little sidetrack there. Wow, that was a. <laughs> My bad. Our bad. I don't know. Yikes. We talked a little bit uh, about how none of the Sharon stuff's happening this year. There. <laughs> Katie's biggest concern about coming on the show was how she was going to signal when she needed another drink. Well, he keeps so, the cooler by himself so, or by his, him. Well, no, we just have this nice As system. A, normally, it's, we have two coolers, one on each side. Because Jake's lost fun, so he doesn't drink the good stuff. He's I could still... It's tricky. It bush. <laughs> it's it, not bush light. It's not. Could that be good? Um, Katie's. Throwing. So that caca <laughs> is the signal because he wasn't paying attention. No, I was paying attention, but no, I, because I shook it and you didn't. I was looking at you, but I need to be here by the mic because I'm trying to tell you that while the Sharon Fourth of July is canceled, okay, uh, I think that most things are so what do you think people are doing is everyone just gonna light off fireworks at their house now? yes that 100 percent. yes like it's gonna be that insane or there's what like four places in the in walworth county that are letting off fireworks and it's just gonna be jam-packed so we all say that and we then we say we're not gonna go because it's gonna be jam-packed Oh, I'm. Okay, Do you think I people wouldn't. are actually going, or is I everyone think, thinking it's going to be busy? I'm not going. I think there will be a lot more people there than people expect when they go. Oh, because I, I'm thinking like everyone I've talked to, where I said like Delavan's going to be crazy, and I didn't go. Everyone said that I'm not going because it's going to be crazy, but I don't know how but many there's people so showed many, up. Think of all the communities in the area that have nothing Canceled. going on. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of people. A lot. Okay, you're gonna get definitely a lot more people that normally would than normally would go. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be more than most people expect, but it's not gonna be like crazy. Like, there's not gonna be like tens of streets shut down because there's that many people. Yeah. Here's the thought. That's true. We're canceling these events to uh, spread people out and prevent the spread of COVID. However. Now we're just packing more people into fewer places, which in theory is counterproductive. The And I don't know which one it is. I don't remember what I was reading, but I know at least one or two of them, you have to be in your car watching. Like, you can't get out. Well, that, so that actually is, works out better for honking your horn. Exactly. That's, <laughs> who doesn't sit in their car and watch fireworks? <laughs> that would be me. I just well, sit on also, the, everybody else. A lot of people. And the rest of the people. <laughs> right. But I think that's how a lot of – I mean, that's why you're going to get so many people because you're going to get eight people packed in the Suburbans. You're just going to have a bunch of giant cars all parked along watching it. It's hard to socially distance in a minivan. Yeah, but if you're with people, you know, if you're with family or hey, sometimes people you're already not it. socially distancing with, I don't think it's as bad. I guess so. It just, I don't it's not like we're going and standing next to random people from Elkhorn who are standing next to random people from Whitewater who are, you know, they're at least – they've they're not just picking up random people off the street like, hey, you going to the fireworks? Yeah, get in. It's fine. <laughs> they might be. 
Maybe well, then they're it's dumb. more of a sharing economy. Um, I think that those without a Sharon tie should just not be allowed to attend the Sharon festivities. Yeah, but where are you going to cut that Sharon tie? Uh, I will review them on a case by case basis. So you would do all the paper. So you have to apply. Yes, you have to apply to attend the parade. When are applications um, stop? Oh, when did you have to? Have People are just going to show up, by? though. No. Yeah. We'll have security, mounted oh. force, police officers. At every oh, Mounties. Mounties. So we're yeah, Canada. We're, yeah, we're You'll make a border them. around Sharon. Yeah. You'll build a wall. Correct. Okay. <laughs> It'll be the compound. The oh, compound. Sh- that's a secret. Yeah, we can't talk <laughs> about the compound. That's a special Hopefully by next year we'll be able to let you in uh, this on what it is. This whole thing is kind of, yeah, we might have some. It kind of fell apart, but we're going to get it back on track. Don't even worry. Do you think that Chris Lynch, uh, Chris Lynch, Chris Lewick <laughs> listens to this? I hope so. Chris Lynch is the pianist at If my she church. does, she needs to send us a message and get everyone, because she, she kind of had up this, uh, this whole talk that Pipe we're keeping very secretly. Yeah, but someday Keep we secret. can tell you guys, and we'll, what the heck will evolve into the uh, official Compound Radio Network, and uh, things are things are really heating up. But I think that this is probably a good time to find out what the heck would you rather do, guys. I've selected five of the very best cards, probably not in the world, but just of the few that I looked at. And the ones we haven't used. Well, that's right. So uh, I'd like to hear from both of you. Would you rather pull a tooth, your own tooth, with a pair of pliers, or, and this part, somebody wrote this, uh, that doesn't perhaps have a lot of worldly knowledge. It says brand yourself with a cattle prod, but you don't brand yourself with a cattle prod. No, you, you just brand prod, yourself. You with just a prod brand yourself, or you, you prod yourself. Correct. So we're gonna go with brand yourself with a cattle. Oh uh, my like gosh! Like a branding iron. Neither. <laughs> That's not allowed. Do I get to choose the tooth? Yes. I'm in tooth. Really? Yes. I. Way less no. painful. No. Yes. No way. Then branding yourself? Yes. With hot Pulling iron. Pulling a Correct. tooth. I've burnt myself several times and it's fine. But no. Pull. Okay. What? Okay, it's a not fine. A different kind of brand. <laughs> I mean, a different kind of burn. I stepped on a curling iron once. That's like oh branding. Oh my gosh. Michael Scott. Michael Scarn. No. Michael yes. Scarn didn't it burn was his foot. It was very much like that. Uh, I would go with branding because pulling a tooth, one, I'm getting my teeth fixed and that would just be terrible. Uh, but you get to pick. It could be one from way in the back. No one would know. That would hurt even worse. A molar? Doesn't That's have to be deeply that. rooted. Okay. It's not, it's not it like an aesthetic be, thing. Oh, the fun in the one in the way back. I don't care. You said the back. That's yeah. where my mind is. The I don't back care. isn't like the farthest back. I'm not worried about no what way. it looks like. I'm talking about like anything with your teeth like is a different kind of sensation. Nope. Brand. You're going to sure. tell me that just Because sticking... for a brand, you could do a tiny little period. No. Boom. No. It doesn't okay. say. It, it does. doesn't well, say. Well, if that's what with we're a... going with, then obviously I'm going to go brand. But I'm thinking it's a legitimate <laughs> it's like a brand. brand. It has zero details, no, and that's what I'm going like with. the Frederick Ranch, and I'd put that right across your butt cheek. Yeah, I'm not it doing that. It does not And you wouldn't that. because it says we do it ourselves. Oh, true. And I don't trust myself to be able to do it right the first time, so I'd have to do it a hundred times. Oh, my God. It'd no. be like that scene from Jackass. This would not. No. It's However, brand people for me. brand themselves from time to time. Like, I remember there was a guy that played for the Bears. That, like, instead of a tattoo, he had, like, a crazy brand There's on There's a lot arm. of guys in the NFL. That's a thing. That do that. Sounds awesome. That's in a movie. Wouldn't I forget what movie that is. Where the guys got drunk one night and branded themselves. I don't know. Anyway. So, y- no. so you two are I'm not on the same page. No, we're not. No, not changing my mind either. Sorry. I'm not either. It'd be different if someone else was doing it. Why would that be different? It's still the same pain and same everything. No, it's not. Why? Because, like I said, I would not. I'd screw it up somehow. You would doing screw it myself. up pulling your own tooth. No, because it's I'm pulling the same tooth, so I can oh. take as much time as I want. I just think of what's that? Uh, <laughs> is that the castaway where he pulls his teeth? Yeah, because yeah, they're rotten. They rot it out. Y- that is what you would be doing. I mean, not a rotten tooth, but 
I don't so think. I mean, anyway. it might be. You don't know about his. <laughs> yeah, he might have rotten I mean, teeth in the back. I don't, yeah, know. I don't know. Maybe that's why I said go in the back. <laughs> No, I'm just not – I'm not – I feel like I'd shy away from branding myself, so I'd have, like, 18 brands by the time I actually did it. No. It would just be worse. I'm with Katie If someone one. else – like, if I'm just – if someone's <laughs> holding me down and they're going to do it, fine. I can't wait I have to do until it? we all get the what the heck logo branded on our butt cheeks. Well, I guess if I go to a dentist and he pulls my tooth and I'm under, then, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> no. Pulling your own tooth would be the worst. You don't no. even, like yeah. – have like, there's – There's a way to do it that they, like – you know, yeah, numb, numb you, then they Doesn't matter. do their little I'm incisions. I'm just talking about, like, the general There's sensations that happen with your teeth, whether, you're like, you know, sometimes if they're real sensitive to cold. Or uh, one time I was eating a waffle, an Eggo waffle, which I discussed how weirdly I cut those things yes. uh, on my episode with Tyler. Um, but I bit down, like, on the very tip of a fork, like, real Ooh, hard. Oh, yeah. And I... Biting a fork. That's a thing. It was... I had to almost go back to bed. Oh. Because that day was not going to happen. <laughs> so that's why I think the that's pulling of terrible. teeth would be the worst. Yeah. But I if agree. any of you need your teeth pulled, uh, we'd be happy to do it live on the show. Or a brand. Or a I brand. Or both. We could do that If too. there are Tyler any can. brave souls out there who would let us do both. We could do that. We could up. do at like the same time. Yeah. And then we could see which hurt worse. Not in this yeah. house. <laughs> Well, we'll do it in the backyard. Okay. We'll do it at Jake's house. Yeah. He's Jake's got... house or Tyler's? Well, I have an apartment, so. <laughs> That'll we can, count. We can that works. We'll, just, we'll do it at the building next door. <laughs> no one will know. Would you rather. Oh, that's one of. <laughs> rough. Yeah. See one of your parents having an affair or see your spouse having an affair? Neither again. Still not an option. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, well, uh, no. I I feel like it's very selfish of anybody to say their parent, but then it's also like that's gotta traumatizing. Be, that's got to be it, right? I think it's got to be it, but that would be traumatizing too. I think I'm going spouse. No way. Just because it would if that like if I saw that with one of my parents, it would like it would hurt a lot more people with it being my parents than if it were just like my spouse. Look at you. That was deep. That is so noble. That was very. But that would. Suck. It's horrible. Both of them would suck. Both of them would suck. Can I oh. pull my tooth? Wait. Out? Not that either. <laughs> Can, no, actually, you, know you don't what? think I'll that brand. would be that bad. I'll go to the brand. I'll mm. switch to brand if I don't have to pick one. Just kidding. That's not true. I don't know. I'm sick and spouse. God, that sucks. That Who writes sucks. this shit? Mr. Rather. Jerk. I don't know. I know you're, you would say parents. That's probably accurate. He paused. You would kill someone. <laughs> I think. Never mind. I, mean, I know the answer too. <laughs> yep. I'm in. Uh, yeah. Now, yeah. I don't. I don't. Why would that hurt more people though? If it was your parents, because I'm just thinking of if all, you're like, hurt, then that in turn hurts your parents seeing you brokenhearted. Right, but and then your siblings. So I feel like it's kind of the same. Right? Yeah, but one. Well, maybe because I'm thinking of it like a single guy. Like I don't. Maybe if it'd be different if I was with someone. But maybe my parents have know. been together for. That's true. Gosh, that probably is it matters. Two years this year. How long so they've be been a together? Lot different than like if I was dating or married to someone for a couple of years. So true. I guess maybe time would have something to do with the two. That's true. Yeah, because if you're like, if your parents, well, if your parents are divorced, then it would be... Two Christmases. Then it might have happened. Well, then you'd probably choose that because they're with their s new person. I don't know. I, yeah. But yeah, your parents have been together forever. Mine have been together forever. So, and yours. So that would... Mm, mm -hmm. I'm both parents. Wait. You're, I thought you Sorry, went I'm going the other way. Like, he would rather, I'd rather it spouse. be the spouse, not my parents. 
Oh. I am kind of on that board now after hearing you. Like, that's very valid, and I kind of get it. But also, I feel like I'm too old now that if my spouse, my spouse was having an affair, I'd just have to be alone forever. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm well over the hill. Well, good thing that's not oh, going shit. to happen. But... I don't have any hope. I'm retiring from the game. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not true. <laughs> Thrown in the towel. Just kidding. I'm going to make a comeback like Michael. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Michael Jackson. So, I might, I might so you say switched. spouse. Yeah, I switch. I switched. It was very last minute, but I did. Are you switching, or are you the same? Oh. I think you would probably stick with that. Probably. I, man. No, I don't know. Probably my parents. I could just retire from dating. That'd be fine. <laughs> probably my parents. Because then, like, yeah, like it affects the whole family. Right. It's yeah. all weird. They got grandkids and, mm-hmm. you know, like. And, yeah, maybe it gets better after a few years, but it's never the same. It's never the same. Yeah, my parents. You're right. You're right, Tyler. You talked me into it. You're apparently a better human <clears throat> than I, and you talked me into being a good human. Are you going to go back to, are you going to go pull in your tooth? Or? No, because I'm not <laughs> insane. <laughs> Not that good. Would you rather spend the night... This one is very similar to the last one. Oh, God. man. In terms of, like, seriousness and how it weighs okay. on your heart. Would you rather spend the night in a dumpster or a porta potty Dumpster? A hundred percent. I have a thing with porta potties in the fact that I just don't use them because I would rather go in the woods or anywhere else. So, dumpster. How... Those two two questions. Uh, couple. The dumpster is outside of a daycare facility. And is it? Oh, full? you no, that is not okay. on that card. You I'm cannot. Just, I. <laughs> that change, that's the same as a port hate potty. Hate this game. <laughs> this is a no-brainer in my brain. I'm probably gonna go dumpster, just because I can make it more comfortable than a porta potty. Yep, like, and I can still you lay, can lay down, down and. Somehow make a have newspapers or something and be warm. Like it's not gonna be great. You might find some goodies too. Dumpster diving. And that's true. To be honest, that's I'm probably not gonna sleep well in either. It seems like you have a better chance of a raccoon encounter in a dumpster. Ooh, that's true. But just close. Uh, if you close no? it. Are you saying no? There's if more I... raccoons in porta potties. No. What I'm saying <laughs> is it doesn't matter because if I have to be in a porta potty. After a hundred degree day in July, Ooh. I don't care if there's ten raccoons in that dumpster. I recently was in a porta potty that had kind of like a plastic mesh kind of like great floor, so you could get a little airflow in there. Oh, that was much less miserable. I have to tell you, it doesn't help with the stank. Well, no, but it gets a little airflow in there, so you don't die. Are you choosing porta potty? No, I'm not insane. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's better when they have some airflow. Okay. Better to sleep in a dumpster. That was it. Sure. That was an easy one. That was easy. That was easy. So easy. That was not a heartfelt one. All right. This one's easy too. Would you rather get your hands stuck in a meat grinder or a blender? <laughs> oh my gosh. Neither. <laughs> this is always neither. I'm going <laughs> meat grinder. No. Yes. no, 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 no. Yes, because a meat grinder would be quick. No, it wouldn't would be, be way gone. slower. What? You think a blender would be faster? Yes. That's like okay. crunching all your bones, all right, the a way, meat grinder. The way I look crunch, at it as you're going until your hand is gone. In a meat grinder, I'm going to feel less of what's going on. Why do you guys add all these details? What <laughs> happens? Because that's just how I thought of it. What happens details. if it's one of those meat grinders uh, with the crank handle on it, and you have to crank your own hand through it? But the blender is electric. Yeah, you have to hold the button. That's dumb. What? Okay, find me a manual blender, you psycho. Manual Who? meat grinders are what? normal. That's totally normal. <laughs> no, if this is happening, I'm not. One who. <laughs> Gets their hand caught in a meat grinder like, oh, long shoot. enough, like, oh, crap, yeah, I got to cut, like, <laughs> I got to throw away a little bit of meat, and then they're done. They're no, not going to keep no, going. you keep the meat. 
Well, maybe if you're oh, my sell, hand's stuck. Let me just it. get it all since it got exactly. stuck a little you gotta, bit. You got to cut the fat a little. You no. got to cut it with a little bit of human no. hand fat. Meat grinder. So you're standing Painful, there. but not as painful as a... Think of all that. What? All like Ow, the cuts? they're both very yeah. painful. At least with a meat grinder, after a while, you're just not going to feel it. It's just going to be gone. Your fingers after a blender are going to be just like dangling oh, there. Oh, man. It's almost as bad as like the garbage disposal. Oh. Which I feel like is more realistic than it's <laughs> more than realistic a than a blender. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Because <laughs> a blender, some then, of them don't, don't even work unless you have a cover on. Right? What if you hit, then you have to have a little hand to stick it down through the hole in the middle? Right. And this is, we don't have a strong hand. This is a scary movie, Take too. Take my strong hand. Uh, meat, meat grinder. I think maybe meat grinder. I think you have a point when you say that it'll just become numb, and it's like kind of all at once versus chop, 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 chop. Yeah, sorry. Over and over. It only chops you four times? Slap chop. I said Five over times. and over. Oh, slap, slap chop. Slap chop. Also, I found I'm not answering before her anymore because I just help her. So Katie will answer first. <laughs> yeah, she can. You can talk. That's on. true. You can talk her into stuff. <laughs> That's real. Now, finally, this is the last one I've selected. Would you rather lick the pus out of a popped zit? Oh, what? Or a busted blister? Oh, Ugh. you're licking either way. Yeah. You're licking pus or is it water mine, from a blister. Mine or someone else's? Uh, I'm a, I'll uh, go someone on Someone else's. And they're old. Nope. Okay. No putting in details. This is would you rather this or that. So I'm going to go with blister because your blister is like full of, I don't even know what it is, but it's like water, basically. Are you sure? No, yeah, but it's not, not sure. yellow green pus. Ew, what's wrong with your pimples, grossy? Pus is yellow and green. If anyone knows a doctor, uh, Katie's got a... I'm a medical guide. <laughs> you didn't yeah. know. <laughs> yes. Um, I would go blister. That's easy to me. That's like licking a cut. That's more like licking a cut versus licking a pimple that I nobody guess. does. Oh, you don't do that? Well, you clearly do. So are you going pimple? Pussy pimple. I guess I'd go Sorry, blister too. Did you I've say had, like I've had blisters like on my hands or whatever that I've like put to my mouth yeah. before? Just like a and cut I've never on even your thought finger. about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, because it's mostly just like a, the skin that you're right. addressing. What about like a blood blister where it's got like mm. some kind of gross blood? Okay, well that wasn't the question. No, and... like, that's valid. A blood blister this is a real thing. This is separate from the from the card. No, I'm counting. This it in is the separate. Card. It's included. It's separate. It's included. Yeah. Well, like exactly. I. Exactly. It's like sucking blood. Yeah, like but not. Cut it also kind of depends on where the blood blister is, because if it's between your toes, well, you can't. I, even I can't get, get my toes that. To my mouth, so. <laughs> <laughs> no question. Guess I'm not to worry about it. Prove it. Prove that I can't get my toes into yeah. my mouth. We're gonna do some. How about you acrobatics. just look at me? Does it look like I can do that? <laughs> Come on. Maybe back in high school, but I guess I didn't try. Oh, he a freak. <laughs> He's a wrestling guy. He probably can do it. I probably could have. Not anymore. So. Uh, Blister. You're not interested in pimples. No, that's disgusting. Sounds gross. I think I'm gonna vomit. I mean, I really have couldn't ha possibly have any less interest in licking a pimple, <laughs> but I do kind of enjoy popping them. Like that's kind of satisfying. And licking them after pre after yeah. popping. Yeah, for other people. Yeah. You licking them. Yep. Yeah. So you choose pimple. No. <laughs> that's what you just said. <laughs> No, I'm just saying that it's kind of satisfying, like the Dr. Pimple Popper thing. Uh, you watch those videos? Oh, no, thanks. No, I do not because you know how I am with that stuff, and no thank you. I don't yeah. need to watch other people's pimples getting popped. No. Where all of a sudden it's like there's Gross. a snake crawling out of them, but it's just Ugh. like pussy. Right. We're done. Enough. Next. Enough. Guys. <laughs> okay, so, so that's what, what you would choose. Yeah, so what yeah you clearly. No, it, no, we keep no. coming back to it. <laughs> clearly everything you've said is pointing to pimple. <laughs> no, nah, blisters are less gross. But uh, yeah, they are. 
What are you guys doing this weekend? You. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's going rafting again for the second. No, not rafting. Not He's rafting. going tubing. Tubing. That's Jealous. only on one day, though. I don't know what we're doing the other days. He's not probably just chilling on the lake. I'm off. It's the weekend for me now. Yeah. We're going camping. We haven't decided if we're taking the dog or not yet. I think we should. Hey, it's kind of a handful. What would you do with him if you don't? Uh, where's he go? At your house. Well, I'm not going to be there. <laughs> but you take him still camping. at your house. I'm going to be there less. Like I'm leaving before and coming back. He's after. just going to tear up your apartment the entire yeah, no, weekend. It'll be fine. Well, it'll be like a little staycation for him. I don't know how he's getting in. <laughs> uh, Didn't you give Colin a key? Yeah, I already have a key. <laughs> nope, took it back. I made a copy. No, you didn't. I did. I switched the locks. Impossible. I I could do it tonight. You can just go buy a set at Home Depot. <laughs> No, I, uh, I'm looking forward to the weekend. It'll be nice to finally get some relaxation. But also, it's hard to relax when it's 90 degrees because I feel like my insides are melting. So I'm really not that excited for that. That's when you need the river or the lake. Somewhere you can go Which cool you'll off. Have. Well, yeah. A lake and an air- AC camper. Mostly that option. Ooh, nice. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be napping so hard. It's my goal this weekend to take no less than four naps. I'll report back next week on the number of naps that I've taken. That is a low goal, I thought. No, it's not, because I'm not like not a napper. I don't ever have time for naps. You know, you're not talking like you're sitting around the campfire, like you're no, no, no. Off for I'm five talking minutes. about like a designated. Like, well, then that's like, a million. Hey, <laughs> it's noon, but I'm gonna <laughs> go in and sleep the until about five. Entire day is gonna a take nap. a nap. Got it. Okay. He takes naps at. Uh, 7 p.m. every night and then wakes up for a short period of time then says, I'm going to bed. But gets his quick little nap in, you know? So he's, a, he's tired talking about he's yawning nap. right now. You just need that little extra recharge to get you down the hallway, you know? Right. Never had that, but okay. Stop. You've never taken a nap before bed. Most no, people without I, narcolepsy here's what I, don't here's what's have happened. that. I, for I, the record, I do not yes, have Yes, he does. I'll watch something Debatable. like in the living room on the no. couch, and I'll lay yeah. down, and I'll fall asleep, and I'll wake up, and it's like 1030, and I'll say, I'm just sleeping here tonight, and I'll just sleep on the couch and oh. go right back to bed. So I don't count as a nap, but maybe it's because my hallway's a little bit longer. I don't know. Mm. I mean, I got to wasp- walk past a bedroom and a bathroom to get uh, – you do the same. Yeah. Let's measure our hallways. Let's do it. <laughs> I even have to make a left turn. So That's if, true. If I don't make a turn, then I just end up in the studio. You end up in Euchre's well, bed? I have to make a turn to get down the hallway. So do you. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Linda. Linda. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. I just, at that point, I'm like, whatever. Pull the blanket off the back of the couch. Go back to bed. That's why It doesn't I happen often. On Only psychopaths use blankets as well. I'd like to put that out there. Okay. When I'm sleeping on the couch, I only put it at, like, my knees down. Because normally I'm wearing shorts. Jorts. That's interesting. You just cover the exposed skin. I don't cover, like, arms or anything. Just (laughs) the legs down to my feet. Because my feet The knees to my feet. Knees to toes. Not during the day. It's really weird. When I'm, like, at night, my feet get cold. And that's all I need to cover. Colin's about ready to fall asleep right now, speaking of it. You know what? All this sleep talk. Well, all this sleep talk. Go Narcolepsy. <laughs> oh, Am I right? <laughs> no, you're not right. All this sleep talk's got me sleepy. But because I'm a team player, I think I'm still going to have another beer, and that's exactly what you should do. So finish your current one. Crack another one. It's a holiday week, so crack another one after that, and maybe one more. Because, um, you know, 4th of July only comes around once a year, and so does the 1st of July. So uh, let's hit it. Uh, it's been a good show, Katie. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I know you weren't real hyped up about it, but I knew that actually you were. She's going to want to come on all the time. Yeah, though. she is, which is fine because generally uh, she's probably the most easily accessible of our guests. Mm-hmm. This is true. It's just a matter of whether she's banished to the basement <laughs> with a dog. or Shunned to the basement. <laughs> hey, it happens. That's where I am every episode, guys. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to sponsor anything for me in the basement, <laughs> that'd be great. 
You got to double it, though, because whatever she gets, the show gets. Yeah, no. Right. Let's focus on what's important here is the guys <laughs> with the content that the people need. Spreading the gospel of Canadian tuxedos. That you going to say gossip. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we well, could gossip if too. you wanted. Mm. We could bring that in. We don't have time for gossip. Yeah. But anyway, happy 4th of July to all of you. For Tyler Heck, Katie Cook, I'm Colin Frederick. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> <laughs>